It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Welcome back to another Bourbon Hunting Challenge edition. We have new props. <laughs> yes. Told you we'd have a cooler way of determining what our next challenge bottle is. Does it look really cool right now, Chad? Because, okay, there's 35 different options in here. Plus four Including whammies. Four, four whammies. whammies. <laughs> Yeah, but it doesn't look like much in here, so we're gonna have to get some more of these little things and fill them up with more ideas. Yes, so give us your, Drop ideas. your ideas. Again, we're not looking for like limited edition once a year releases. We're looking for things that should be on the shelf if they weren't so popular or allocated yeah. or sought after or, you know, hunt worthy. Or All something right. that, yeah, we actually have a chance of finding. Right, but you know, with some effort. Sarah, you wanna do the honors? Yes. Today's quarter is brought to you by Patreon member and longtime bourbon knight, Todd Koopa, who goes by the handle Hot Toddy. Thank you, Todd. Or should we say, Hot Toddy. Ooh. Would you like to do the honors? Sure. All right, today, we will be looking for Larceny Barrel Proof. Larceny Barrel Proof is the non-chill filtered, uncut version of the regular 92 proof Larceny. Its proof varies from batch to batch, but is typically in the 120 proof range. Larceny Barrel Proof is released three times a year and denoted with A, B, and C, followed by one, five, or nine, which represents January, May, and September and ends with the last two numbers of the year. It comes from the Heaven Hill Distillery and features their weeded mash bill of 68% corn, 20% wheat, and 12% malted barley. It's non-age dated, but said to be around six to eight years old. Suggested retail for this bottle is 60, though we expect to find it for a little higher. Not impossible. More likely than I think some other things that we could have pulled. This That's one, true. I would put this one lower on the difficulty, actually. It feels doable. Yeah. Now, you know, we got the, uh, the wheel to do next. This week, we're gonna call it the wheel of terms and conditions. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it to another spot and then give it a spin. Hometown. Our wheel of terms and conditions gave us the extra challenge of only being able to hunt in our hometown here in Kentucky. So we just have to find it here in our hometown. We can't go, out, can't go out outside of there, which we did have to do in the first episode of this, Sarah. That is a little bit of a hindrance because we could just drive to Heaven Hill and see if they have the latest there behind the counter. However, since it's hometown, we can't do that. All right, mm -hmm. the level difficulty just raised a notch. A tiny bit. Yeah. Starting now, we have 12 hours to find a bottle, so let's get to it. What's the game plan? Where do you think we should go oh, first? Oh, geez. Um, there's a liquor bar not too far from here. And if we hit that, then we can also go to the total wine that's there. But I honestly don't think that's where we're gonna have the best of luck. I do kind of feel like something like Larceny Barrel Proof, not as popular as Elijah Craig Barrel Proof by any means, but still I feel not like, like the big box stores, it's gonna fly off first. Mm -hmm. Maybe like a Kroger a wine Kroger experience? Wine experience. I was actually thinking that too. All right, time to make the phone fall. Yay, my favorite part. Oh. <laughs> first stop is at Total Wine. And will we be a lucky bastard and find it at the first store? No, but here's a bunch of sizes of the regular Larceny. And maybe it's just me, but I really thought it used to be hard to find the cast strength version of Makers 46, but we've been seeing it around a lot more lately. Pretty surprised to see Remus Repeal Reserve still on the shelf when we bought our bottle from this store about two or three weeks ago. Maybe the honeymoon is over with this bottle. See, why could we not have drawn a Midwinter Night's Dram? Because that was in there. And look, first stop, here it is, right in the case. It is $200, but it's right there. We could have been done already. We could go home. I'm cold. <laughs> Just as we suspected. Yeah, but no you know, luck. good to look, good to look. I want that Midwinter Night's, <laughs> Mid Night's Dram. I always get it mixed up. Saw some other things. In fact, we picked up that uh, seven-year Knob Creek Rye because we've been wanting to try that, see how that shakes out for any, you know, potential best of the year buy things. So. And available on the shelf, new things. Yeah. yeah, nothing says that we can't buy other stuff while we're out looking for that larceny, right? That's true. A short drive away is Liquor Barn, and as usual, we head to the tasting bar to see what's what. And we did it! We found a larceny barrel proof, but it's by the poor. But it's also for six bucks, so let's get one. Plus, Sarah gets a taste of Midwinter Night's Dram. Here's Maker's 46 cast strength again. And what's this? Booker's 202304, the Storyteller's Batch for 99 bucks. Like, truly, if only we were looking for the Murray Hill Club, if that could have been the one that we had drawn, or the Booker's, <laughs> like we could have 
We could have won easily. It, it would have been over. Okay, so you got some FOMO out of the way in there. Yes, my FOMO has been quelled. Um, I was really sad about leaving that uh, midwinter night stram behind from this year, but then we went to Liquor Barn and they had it on the tasting bar, so I got a pour. It was like 11 bucks? Uh, I think it was 13.99 actually. 13. For a $200 bottle, like not bad for, it was a nice pour. It was, a, let me tell you, it was a nice pour. Did you like it? I'm the passenger. I did like it but I don't know if I can justify a $200 spend. Like, I'm really glad I got to have it, mm -hmm. but... We've had Larceny Barrel Proof on awesome. this hunt so far, but it was a uh, it was a sample. Mm. Um, and for anyone wondering, I had a small little nip since and I'm I driving. enjoyed the rest. She <laughs> enjoyed most of it, so she's feeling good right now. Well, I mean, I can't complain. I'm having a good time. <laughs> she's getting drinks, and yeah. Yeah. So, the hunt continues. Just because we were close to one, we stop in at a mire to check it out, not expecting much. Regular larceny only, but what's this? Another Murray Hill Club? It's the last one and it's on sale and it's at Meyer. Who would have thought? You ever get the larceny barrel proof in here? You know, never care that. Yeah. All right, man. Thank you. Looks like they never get it anyway. Back to Big B Liquors, let's give it a try. Oh, there it is. 99 dollars okay. Thank you much. We might be back. Thank you. Oh, there's sass. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, wow, well, it's getting dark out. It is. Uh, <laughs> if you'll remember that we visited that store in our episode where we were hunting Blanton straight from the barrel, which we did find there originally. It was overpriced by a lot. Yeah. The same thing here, we did find the Larceny Barrel Proof along with pretty much everything else that was in our little gumballs. However, it was marked up to $99.99. Not the worst thing ever. But for our like third or fourth stop, we're not willing to pull that trigger. Mm. So we're gonna hit some more places. But and tomorrow, because it's got dark. Maybe one more tonight. Yeah, one more tonight as we drive off into the sunset, and that store is Kroger Wine and Spirits. But it's the same story. Some interesting bottles, but no larceny barrel proof. We're gonna call it for today. Yeah. We spent about three hours uh, hunting. If you think we're spending so. nine hours hunting tomorrow, <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, not that much, but uh, we'll see you then. All right, starting off day two with taking some packages to the post office. Yeah, orders from whiskeyambitions.com. What a segue, Sarah. Yeah, whiskeyambitions.com is our home on the internet for things like uh, t-shirts that I uh, promised we're wearing under here. Glenn Karen's. Uh, Glenn Karen's. Sweatshirts. Uh, hats, hoodies, sweatshirts, bottle cut candles, and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbonite and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that is where you can get discounts on some of this merch uh, after the episode exclusives, barrel picks, and more. All right. Let's take them. Ernie Spirits is a first stop of day two. And what do we have here? Target acquired. But before we get excited, let's see the price. $73.99? That's much better than 100. Mission accomplished but let's look around. And what do we have here? It's Never Say Die, seven year wilderness trail that was aged in London, England. We specify because we have a London, Kentucky here. Okay. We did it. Success on day two, but technically we're only in like, what, four hours into our I mean, yeah. allotted time for this challenge. I'm not mad that we don't have to keep hunting. <laughs> I guess the hard part is like, you know, you think always when you find it in a store, why didn't we just go there first? Right. But you never know. Well, this time we went more for like what was closer to us in terms of stores and then mm -hmm. worked our way out instead of starting with a store that might be the most likely to have it. We ended up at Ernie's, which is not close to where we're, we're at. We do like to make it down here though. They're super nice in there. Yeah, they are. I mean, they've got usually a pretty good selection. Uh, they don't hide things. You don't have to ask about it. It's not like a super secret. You know, they'll straight up tell you like, this is when we get this truck. This is when we get that truck. Here's what we have. Uh, first come, first serve. Mm -hmm, exactly. And I like that. Yeah. Now we're back here at home base. Much warmer. Yeah, day two, uh, one stop, one stop and got it. How, how about that? If we made one more stop last night, we could have been done, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. I guess they would have been there. So the, the story was that uh, these, uh, the larcenies had just come in 
the day before. Mm -hmm, the evening before. The evening before. So, which is odd because like when we stopped hunting last night, I I think we both kind of came to the consensus that. Those were released in September. It's kind of out of season. season. Out of season. And it was unlikely that we were going to find one right. other than that one that was marked up to $100, which is probably why it hadn't sold yet. And like, let's be honest, we yep. weren't going to go back for that $100 one. That's almost a 50% markup on something that, I mean, it is kind of, on something that should right. have been about $70 to cost $100. That's... Right. This is batch C923. I can't remember what the one was at, at the other store. But one thing that we had decided, Sarah, last night was after having that pour of the five batch of this year, what at Liquor Barn that it wasn't a hundred dollars no. worth of a pour. Mm -mm. So we decided that a hundred dollar bottle was out. So if we hadn't have found one today, we it was gonna we we're gonna take the L. Yeah, they have the challenge. We I pulled suppose. we pulled it out. And actually, Sarah, I'm glad that we didn't find this at the first stop because then we wouldn't have gotten these four other whiskeys. We would have saved some money. We would have. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we wrote it down on this paper bag because you know we're high tech. Very. The Never Say Die seventy dollars. The Booker's was a hundred. The Knob Creek Seven Year Rye was thirty six. And the McTavish. 69. We forgot to film us getting the McTavish for some reason, but this first release, which is called The War Chief, is a seven-year bourbon from Indiana that actor and Scotsman Graham McTavish has recently launched. And why do we need that? Celebrity whiskey. Yeah. We need it for celebrity whiskey. And also because, you know, it seems cool. But we're going to take these away. We're going to open up this bad boy and do a quick review of the Larceny C923. Oh, we should also say grand total for this hunt to find this bottle was Three hundred and fifty dollars, mm -hmm. but we got five bottles out of it. So come I do on. have to say, we've done you've done much more damage <laughs> on hunts in the past with five bottles. So hmm. I'm actually proud. I guess boss for cork pop. And if I had gotten that Midwinter's Night Dram, that would have been two hundred dollars on its own. And I decided once I got my pour, good, but not you got the FOMO out of you. This bottle is one hundred twenty-six point four proof, by the way. Okie dokie. Now this is a fresh crack. I know you love that term, a neck pour, uh, but you know. What does it even we mean? We just got it 30 minutes ago. I know what it means. You don't have to explain to me in the comments. It's a lot of uh, spice for a, for a weeder. weeder. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting more oak notes. Aerate this sucker. Warm sugars, vanillas. After I kind of did that and, you know, blow out the ethanol, I don't know if that's a real thing or not, but. You do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> more of um, baking spices. I'm almost getting like freshly baked cinnamon rolls and then yep. it's with that doughy, the icing, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. All right, to your health. Spoils of victory here. Mmm, the oak on that, mm -hmm. I like. Pretty good amount of oak. Like a nice balance of that, again, like freshly baked pastry, breakfast pastry and oak. And I like those together. Mm -hmm. I mean, if given the choice, would I rather have this or an Elijah Craig barrel proof? I would rather have an Elijah Craig barrel proof. Always. But this one's actually pretty solid. I mean, again though, I'm happy with what we paid for it. If we had paid nearly 30 more dollars and gotten that hundred dollar bottle, I don't think I would be happy. But this is enjoyable. I know that we reviewed the A123 in a short and sweet this year. Um, the B batch, uh, probably on a live, but we'll do, we'll take all three and we'll decide what is our favorite batch sure. of the year. And then if it's worthy to go into our blind best of the year contention or not. Sarah, I forgot to plug in the table. There we go. You're off your game. I know. Well, that's much better. Okay. If you guys noticed that. <laughs> now we just start over again. Yeah, we got to start over. Nope, not <laughs> no, doing I'm it. No, I'm not starting. <laughs> but hey, that's where we better leave it. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, hunt more bourbon. Mm -hmm.